home Though I roamed, sure my heart never left her Oh, the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland Get me the falter, 100,000 welcomes to Irish paint magic Today, we're going to go out to my own county, to West Cork. Right down, I'm from the North Cork area, Mallow. We're going to West Cork, to Gugan Barra, one of the most scenic and popular places uh, for tourism and weddings in all of County Cork, and even, I would imagine, of Ireland. So, what I've done here, I've got the basic uh, outline with black gesso, and what I've done was just tapped it in, like this, and got in the basic shape and pull right down here and here and that dries in about two minutes uh, with a hair dryer about one minute so what I need to do now is make that slip and slide and I'm going to go into liquid clear and coat all this just where the black is only with liquid clear in here I've got some contact paper and you'll see what happens there later and now, without cleaning the brush, I cover the white part of the canvas with liquid white. Try and use these colours now because of these mediums, because they will make your life very, very easy as an artist. And here, you can see, I'm going down into the foothills there, and it doesn't matter if you go a little bit into the white or into the black, that doesn't matter. Straight away, with the brush, with the dirty brush, I go into blue, a little bit, not much, and black, and up into the corner, blue and black. And the reason I'm going into the black with the blue is to not to have that too tropical. I want it to tone down. I go right across, right across, right down, and again, you see, like the, the letter X, you see this? That's an exaggeration, but that's what you want. And let it go right down. As you go down, let the liquid white take the color off the brush file. It will take it off. Just talk to it nicely. It will take it off. Right down and right down over the horizon and even down over the mountain. Push that mountain back. Way back. Way back. This is the beautiful part of County Cork. Now, here, with the blue and the black again, I'm just going to darken the corners. Right darken the corners. Here and here. Black. And I pull from the outside, from the outside in. Don't come back out. If you do this, you put a mark on it. So don't do that. Just pull from the outside corner into the painting. Right along and lift off the canvas as like an aeroplane lifting off the runaway. Lift off like this. Lift off, off off, right along, right along, and lift off, and you'll see a sheen coming up here on the water, and it will make your life much easier than to be trying to put it in later on. Now, and here, I'm just going to put a little bit more black in this corner, a little bit more black, just to tone it down, and I'm going to pull right up now from the outside in again, and make sure now that these are horizontal, that they sit down strokes, that they sit down on the water. Let them sit down. Talk to them. Sit down, please. Up here, another little bit of black up here. Just to get your eye to focus down into the painting. And again, now I'm fighting with myself to stop this. Stop it, Dave. Get away from it. And very gently now I'm going to go across the whole lot and go away from it. Tell myself to go away. Just, just be gentle with it. Now, with the one-inch brush, I get some titanium white and pull into the brush and tap into it. Pull in. Now, don't paint. Just tap when you come up to the canvas. And look at your canvas and play one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just tap. Just tap into it. But don't go back up to the top of the, of the cloud. Don't go back up there. Stay at the bottom. And you'll get a lovely 
shadow color coming right in in under in under here the light would come down hit the cloud and a cloud and throw a shadow at the, at one side of it and that's what you want get a clean brush and very very gently just puff that up now and very gently go across the whole lot and ask it to sit down please sit down for me Mr. Paint on the canvas and go away from it then now I go to get my filbert brush and just black only black on its, on its own, it should do I'm going to go right over here and follow that mountain face that hill way 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 over there keep it fairly sharp at the top and turn the brush, turn the brush roll that paint off of the brush turn it go right up and down and down no black just the black on its own now and down into the valley there right down pull it down as though you're coming down or walking down the hill all the strokes are coming down with the hill now they're all coming down right down and right down right down into that valley and if you want to get a little bit of a flare just pick up a little bit of titanium white down here and you'll get a little divider just a little and pull that up the hill pull it up but make sure that your strokes are going down or up with the hill with the fall of ground the very same as if you were walking a lot of you are into hill walking and that not me but <laughs> a lot of you are I'm too lazy I like just to paint and fish and fish I never fish this lake now this lake is the, um, the source of the river Lee I don't know the name of it. I have seen people fishing there, but don't know how good or how bad it is. So I must find out. Now, straight away, without cleaning the brush, I'm going right into Van Dyke Brown. Van Dyke Brown, and I'm going to follow this right up. Right up. Right up. Up the hill. And over, and It'll fall over. There's a big cliff face here. It hangs down. The mountain hangs down over that. Right down. Let it come down with the fall of ground. And ask it to push the other mountain back, and it will. Ask it to push the mountain back here. This one. Go right along there. Like. And right down. Right down. I'm picking up a little bit of green with that Van Dyke Brown down here by the water right down by the water's edge. We'll get down there in a moment, but not, don't be in any hurry to come down there. Right, that's fine. Now, I'm going to get my knife with a bit of titanium white. Titanium white. I need to highlight some of this and maybe a little bit of black. White and black will give you grey. And there's a lot of stone along there. A lot of stone. And growth as well, but don't want to jump in. I'll cut across it, get a roll of paint on the knife. And I come up here and just hit and miss. Let that fall right over, right down, right down the mountain. Let it hit and miss down the side of the cliff. Let it come right down. Don't kill all the dark. And here, on the top, some of it goes back up in this way. Not all, not, not a whole lot now. And here, a bit of sap green, a bit of yellow ochre and sap green. Not too much, I don't want it, and a little bit of brown to tone it down. I don't want it, as to Van Dyke Brown, I don't want to jump it out too soon. I just want to give the illusion that there's growth all along here all along there and just let the knife the canvas take the knife the paint off the knife fire it'll hang over some of it now will hang over this right down there but don't kill all those nice uh, stony look effects there right down and right down there and some of that will will also creep up 
it'll creep up from the bottom to some of that greenery. Let it intermingle with the face of the of the rock face there. Nice and soft. You don't know where one stat or the other finished. And all along here. What I'm going to do now is get the filbert brush again with a bit of green and a bit of black. I want it to be a real dark green. So don't be bogging yourself down as regards colour. If you want a dark green, pick up the green and stick black into it and there you have a dark green. And let the brush do the work. There's trees all along here. And just tap all along, leaving light. Just tap in and the trees will jump off. Just talk to them. Jump off please, Mr. Tree. Talk to it. Now, Mr. Tree, jump. By just tapping in with the brush, the brush will, the canvas will take it off. But down here in Cork, it works much better if you practice your Cork exit down here. It really works well. All along here, down by the water's edge, right down there. Just a little bit of caddy yellow, push into the ductly brush, and you'll get a roll of paint on top. And just highlight some of these, not all of them now, just some of them. Just give the illusion that the sun is hitting parts of those trees over there in the distance. And it is too. And it is. But don't kill all the darks. Darks your friend. Right down, right down. Right down. With the fan brush, just get the caddy yellow on its own. And there's a field all along here. Right down. And try and let the old paint sit there. Let it blend in there to the end of the wood. Those trees, that's fine. Right over there. I'm going to mix up some really dark green. It's black and green. Not a whole lot of green because I want it to be very, very dark. Very dark. I have to watch the old clock here because the old director of programs, he blow a fuse when my tie runs over. You can hear him kicking the furniture and things like that. Oh, I thought that old goat was bad up there and in the burden, but he ain't a patch on this guy here, Paul. <laughs> now, just tap into this now and turn it. Just tap in. Tap into that dark green and turn the brushes you're coming out as though the tree is leaning out for the light, for the growth. And fill all that in there. Fill it all in. And fill all that in with black and green. Pull that right down here. Pull it right down. This because what's above will be down here in the water. It will be down here in the water. But you want to watch the angle now that would go back at an angle because this would go back like that. Just watch it. Be a little bit careful. Take your time. My island, oh, I'm coming home. Cad yellow, a little bit of green, sap green, and push in, push in with the brush. And come up here and let the sun hit the branches, just slightly. Don't kill all the dark now. Don't kill the dark. Talk to it. Let go right down into the dark, but don't kill the darks. Right down and right down, down to nothing. I want you to see something here. I'm going in here with my contact paper and I'm going to pull off the little chapel of Guganbara. What I done here was before I took, put on the contact paper, I painted in the little chapel, but I had to leave it dry and I painted, um, painted with a very dark color, this very dark brown, and all I had to do then was stipple over it with a lighter color, like this, just like that. And here, all I done was brush this one very lightly, let the canvas, the texture take, the, it was done with a very dark blue-gray first, and then let the canvas take the texture off, to give it a texture. And here then, with Van Dyke Brown, I came in with a line of brush, and wham, here, there, like that, three times. Here I got Van Dyke Brown, and bright red, and here was the white, white around the door. Van Dyke Brown on its own. I'm just going to come in here, just here, and just tapping again now. Just tapping. 
there's rhododendrons grow along here. I'm not much of a gardener now, but I know that, I know what they are anyway. And just let them grow along. But I do admire their beauty. All along here. Right out onto the water there. Right out onto that water. You get a little bit of white, a bit of bright red, bright red. Now I have liquid, this is liquid white and a little bit of titanium white. Take it up, it's a little bit of both. And I just push into it, push into it. And just come up and you can highlight them by let, letting it sit on the top of the paint that's on it. And again here. Don't kill the darks now. You'll be inclined to put on too much. When it starts to look nice, you'll be inclined to kill the darks. But don't do that, please. Just leave it sit on top. Now, you want to be quite gentle doing this. Think that you have a baby in your arms. Quite gentle. And then get away from it. And leave it at that. Now what I'm going to do is continue that dark colour down there. Because the same shadow is down there. Same shadow. And there will be the highlights down there as well. So you just tap that in there as well. And then leave it for the moment. We'll be able to get at that later now. I get a little bit of um, white on the, on the liner brush. And a small bit of yellow ochre, yellow ochre and white. And I'm just going to come up here and there's a tree there. Maybe a little bit darker on one side. And then he goes off. And these little branches. And most of these will be covered up anyway, so you don't go into any great detail with it. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Van Dyke Brown on the shadow side of that, just there. And then you can mix both of those together. Just the two colors. Just let them tap into each other. And that's fine. Here, I'm going back in. I'm going back into the cad yellow and the sap green. Just pick up a highlight color and just going to get, bring that over there. Let it hang down over the church to push, to push the chapel back. That's what we want it to. Tell the chapel get back a little bit. Just a little bit. We're not going to hunt it, Mr. Chapel. Just go back a little bit. Thank you. Thanks very much. And that's fine. Now, with the fan brush, again, white and yellow ochre. And just come out from the door. Just get out from the door there. Just a little bit. Nice and gentle. And let it go right down. Right to there. That's fine. Just to get out from the door. So that the bride, when she comes to get married, she'll be able to walk out there. No, that's fine. I'm sure that many people, I hope you'll be watching, they got married in this chapel. And be watching this, bring back old memories. And people that are waiting to get married there, that you'll have a wonderful future. And think of me. And when you go in to get married, say an old prayer for me. Small prayer, don't go astray. That old cock fella, I'll pray for him. Now, we go here. The bank all along here, bank all along, and it goes right down, right down there. The black and the green, it's all along there. Pick up another few little highlights of that same color that's up here, the yellow and the green. And I'm just going to come along there, the grassy area there, and let it pull right down, let it pull right down onto the onto the water's edge there. 
and you can push up again along here and you'll see all the little gorse and little things that grow along the bank here. Just push up and they'll all pop up there for you. Just talk to them nicely. There. Now what I'm going to do is with a nice clean brush and I can't stress it needs to be clean. I couldn't stress that enough now. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to catch all that over here in the distance and say, please sit down, please, Mr. Reflection. Please sit down and go across it very gently, very gently, so you get a nice softness back over there. And here, ask the old bushes to sit down there as well, right along, right along, and again, Talk to them as well. Ask them to sit down. Sit down, please, Mr. Bush, so as you'll be able to reflect into the water. We'll get, we get on there in a moment in the near bank. Now, over in the far bank over here, I need a water line. And I just, with a bit of liquid white, liquid white. And these strokes now, you cut into the canvas. These strokes are horizontal. The water will sit down and take its own level. All the little ripples here in the water will take it. And in under this here, and ask the bush to sit down. Get in under that bush. By just cutting into the canvas now. You won't do the canvas any harm at all at all. You'll do the, the canvas no harm. So don't be afraid to do it. Now, what I'm going to do now is put a few highlights that's the yellow, sap yellow and the green down here. Because some of those ref highlights will be right down there. That way. And again, I'm going to get clean brush. I'm watching the clock. Clean brush. Because they'll blow a fuse here if I'm too late. It's very gentle. Very gentle. Talk to it. And also, a little bit of red, a little bit of red, and also a little bit of white. And very gentle, talk to it, pull it down straight, pull it right down, and go across it, very gently. Say, please sit down, please sit down into the water, please. Practice your cock accent. Please sit down. And that's nice. And that's what you want. Now get your liquid white and cut into it and come in under the bank. And just cut in, in under the bank. Cut in, right in under it. And here. And there. And push all those reflections back in under the water. Please get down. Get down under the water for me, please. Right in there. Gugan Barra. What a beautiful spot. If you haven't been, please go there. Please go there. It will be an experience you won't forget. Also, it's a very holy place. And also, play for me if you see. Down in here at the back of this, there's a tree. An ancient tree. And there's all thousands upon thousands of kinds down through the years, pushed into the tree. People that prayed over the years for maybe that hundred years. I'm going to push this up now. The great delusion of, of grass. Grass. Just dark at the moment. And a little bit of highlight. A little bit. Just push up. Just push up. And here, I have two little friends here. There's one. Oh, he's more respectable. Down here. And here, over his mate. When these swans, you know, they're made for life, you know. If they lose a partner, that's it. They don't take up with any other swan, ever. So here, I go across that, very gentle. 
very gentle and ask it to sit down. And then get your liquid white, come in under it, and ask him to sit down. And here, right under that. And all again, I can't stress it enough that these lines need to be totally horizontal. And until we meet again, got a meal of my good, shlan lat, and God bless you all, my friends. Ireland, my island, oh, I'm coming home. Though I roam, sure my heart never left her. O'er the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me. Oh, I'm coming back home.